the old one don't vamoose so as the new one land the bam Get that bob inside every chop we get Mr. Chef's seasoning cube. 10 jarra cubes there inside the 100 cube packets and 5 jarra cubes inside the 50 cube packets. Go buy your own now before the jarra then finish. Mr. Chef, the jollyment do not go forget that. Right from the entrance of the government house in the state capital, one gets a drift that the unusual was going to happen. The wind of defection has found its way to the seat of the caliphate, blowing towards the leadership of the state. And then a crowd is formed, comprising supporters and loyalists of Governor Aminu Tambual. They soon found their way into the government house with banners bearing different inscriptions indicative of their loyalty to the state governor. Governor Tambuwal steps out to a grand welcome from the crowd as he addresses them on the political wranglings in the country and his plans to leave the ruling All Progressive Congress. The former Speaker of the House of Representatives did not mince words as he admits being one of those who convinced the people to vote for the APC in 2015. But now he's changing guards and ready to return to the PDP, the party he dumped in 2013. But first, he wants the people to give their consent. Governor Aminu Tambuwal obviously has the support of his loyalists in his new mission. What is, however, left to be seen is his agenda for the elections next year. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, yes, indeed, we will focus on the gale of the factions across board and sundry issues. This morning, we've got uh, Mr. Ibrahim Shakaral, former governor of Kano State and former minister of education. Thank you for coming on this morning, sir. Thank you very much. Well, in the context of when we hear Nigerians say this movement across board, not necessarily to address the issues that concern Nigerians, that is just in the interest of politicians. So in that context, would we say this is a new law for our democracy? Well, thank you very much. I think uh, it is rather very unfortunate that we are experiencing this situation at the moment. Uh, while I quite agree, sometimes it looks like it is being dictated by selfish interests. Uh, people wanting to get one thing or the other in one platform and failing to get it and probably jumping to another. Uh, it's actually not looking like we are getting it right in terms of principles, in terms of ideology. Uh, even though some may argue that uh, we are still in the learning process, 
but a lot of it is to do with uh, personal egos and probably uh, I was asking, you see, it took these our friends three and a half years uh, to discover that they were not being carried along. These were some of the questions I was asking initially, uh, that uh, Nigerians would like to find out uh, what exactly in terms of principles, in terms of uh, the ideology, in terms of the delivery of, of the government. And one would also love to find out, is it uh, after due consultations with their constituencies back home, uh, some of them, with all due respect to them, uh, have not had any contact with their constituencies before this kind of decisions uh, were taken. I yeah, think... Including the ones that came to the PDP? Of course, I'm not uh, saying because they, we welcome them, we, we, the, the more the merrier, uh, but my concern has always been most politicians don't seem to carry their constituencies along. Uh, we have some few of them that have not been to their constituencies for uh, years, for months, and, and yet they sit back and uh, take decisions on their own. Uh, I think the earlier we start uh, involving the very people that gave us the mandate, the better. Hmm. Uh, we would like to have it on record that have you gone back to share it with the people? Let the people speak. Let the, let the people be enlightened as to what are your reasons. Is it because of... Uh, there have been a lot of speculations. Some uh, have the impression that probably 2019 they may not get what they wanted, they may not contest, they may not get the tickets on the platform, and probably... Uh, the wind of the current situation uh, 